Yuck, 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 Brains, you are so funny. I'm totally going to use these lines as an excuse not to bird this morning. I'm going to save birding for our big birding day, which is in November at some time. Well, it's in South Africa at least, but I'm sure we'll be challenging uh, each other in Kenya too to see how many different species we can get. It can actually be quite a nice variety, but we have come across our favorite pride of lions, or one of our favorite prides of lions, the Yangama pride, and they've got little bulging bellies, so I wonder what they ate. They must have eaten something last night, although we know they were on an Ilan kill not so long ago. When was that? When were they on the airline call? Yesterday morning, in fact, they were. But they've come back now. So they're looking good. They're looking healthy. And it's great to see them. And they look quite excited, too. They're all walking around the car. Some are sitting up on termite mounds. This is not the whole pride. I can see little lion heads all over the show at the moment, as well as adult lion heads. Here's some of the older cubs that often give us a bit of trouble. The naughty boys. They're at that stage where they find vehicles particularly interesting which is a, a challenging time for us as guides because they feel as though they need to chase the cars. And obviously we don't want to encourage behavior like this, uh, but they'll, they'll sort of get over it at the, in a couple of months. It, it's, just, it's just because it's new, it's interesting, they're big and brave, they've learned how to stalk. And you girl, you're pulling a funny face, aren't you? You could actually just try to groom one of the cubs and then ended up phlegm and grimacing instead and also dribbling everywhere, but that's one of the lionesses up there. You can see she's much larger than the others, although those youngsters are catching up to her. Oh, there's plenty birds calling this morning as well. You can hear the Birchels, not the Birchels, I always say the Birchels cuckoo, the white-browed cuckoo. I'm so used to the birds in South Africa. <laughs> Proud cat mama, you've said that, woohoo! Or yay, one of the two, one of you've exclaimed something and you're quite excited to see kitty cats today. Well, I suppose with a name like Proud Cat Mama, you probably enjoy the lion sightings then. But unfortunately, we're not in an off-road area, so we're going to try and watch these cats uh, for as long as we can. And hopefully they don't disappear too far, but they're now moving from their termite mound in this direction, which is not great because there is a little bit of a gap between sort of where we are and the main road and they could get lost in and amongst some of these shrubs it doesn't look like the adults are going to go off hunting just yet they could of course change we know that they're opportunistic feeders and they take any opportunity that passes them now hello Avanti you're wondering how many lions are normally in this pride well there's typically four lionesses and then there's about 12 cubs that move around in this area however there are another four lionesses and a couple of cubs i forget how many now that you can occasionally see together uh they, they they're supposedly from across the river and they they broke away from a, a pride and uh, because the pride got too big uh, as normally when prides sort of split up and and then now they're living quite happily here uh, i'm really sure it's the same group we saw yesterday with that Ireland. They were eating. Now this, actually, this cub on the on the left, can you see how its ear is very droopy? Uh, not that one, the next, the one that's coming across the road. I wonder if it's got a bit of an ear infection or something like that. The way that it's holding its head and the way that that ear is tilted down makes me think that there's something wrong, that it's, it's feeling a little bit on the uncomfortable side. Obviously, cubs at this age are quite comical uh, in, in the sense of the facial expressions and all those types of things and, and floppy ears. However... Uh, that one looks a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, well, we'll see where these cats end up going. If they do disappear out of sight, we'll go and find some more. There's no shortage of lions in the Mara Triangle. Brent, however, is focusing on his bird challenge.